and welcome to the abstract acrylic still life painting tutorial you can see where this is going so let's get started i'm going to make some homemade collage paper i'll do that over some old rejects just some scrap paper i have lying around so break out those old sketchbooks those reject drawings and start painting just add different layers of acrylics if you have some crayon oil pastels whatever just throw some marks randomly on the paper allow all that to dry and while it's doing so i'm going to take my paper which is 24 by 18 and put in my contour drawing obviously this is a very loose abstract style so i'm not worried about details i'm just going to get the main shapes in i'm even going to break out some crayon just because i like color and just have a little bit of fun slapping that drawing down at this point all the collage paper is dry and i'm going to take a blank white sheet here throw some mod podge on it and then use that for the tabletop so that'll be a good base to add my dark stripes again all of this collage paper is handmade with multiple layers i'm going to cut out some stripes and once i get that cut out you know the drill i'm going to add some mod podge to it and then start putting my stripes down and once i get all those cut out and in place i'll take a clean piece of paper put it down and just press everything nice and flat that'll keep the edges from curling up now i'm going to go into the rest of the background i'm going to have a dominant warm hue there and then i've got some blues on the corners i didn't have a piece of warm hue paper that was large enough to cover the area so i'm going to piece that together so i'll put the first piece in and you'll see at the top there i've got some other little pieces patched in now i'm going to move into the wine bottle now i will tell you this is a very condensed version of the original demo the original demo is over 60 minutes long there's a link in the description if you want to learn more there's also a link to the blog post where i share more information about my materials if you care to take time to read that i'm piecing in now the plates so there will be some plates at the top and then one at the side and once I had that in place, I can start moving in to the smaller shapes. So whenever you do this or whenever I do this, I like to start with the background because the background is usually the larger shapes. And then I'll work from large, medium to small. Now I'm mixing in some acrylics. So this is heavy body acrylics. I don't like to blend on a palette all the time. I think for a style like this, that's sort of very chunky and loose. Uh, sometimes it's good just to dip right into the jars and let let it blend on the paper i know everyone sort of squirms when i say that because not all of you like to contaminate your paint but if you have a couple of brushes there you can use one brush for yellow one brush for red one brush for green and so on and that'll keep it less contaminated so anyway blending on the paper keeps it a little bit chunky if i blend on a palette a lot of times the colors become a little bit too blended and it sort of becomes a little bit dull in my humble opinion. But again, your style, how you approach mixing paint is, is a personal thing. So you do what feels right. I'm using some burgundy there to uh, add the wine bottles. And now I'll move in to back into the cast shadows and just sort of extend them over the tables, around the plates. And then I'm going to start to clean up that background. Now I'm using a piece of compressed charcoal and I'm just adding some linear interest to the painting I like to do this several times throughout a large painting because I think it start it gives it a little bit of a movement uh, so sometimes in a large space it can become a little bit dull um, so adding a few scribbles there is a kind of a nice thing I like to do is sort of a signature thing for my style I like line work I like to add drawing into my painting so that's basically what that was now i'm adding some cast shadows a few highlights on the wine glasses and all the while you know sort of stepping back from the painting often to see what it needs so i felt that really warm background was a little too distracting and it just overpowered um, what i wanted you to see which is this strong vertical of the wine bottle and the glasses uh, with these little pops of color 
of the fruit and the pears and the lemons. Now I'm just playing a little cleanup, so cleaning up some of the shadows. And that background is still giving me problems. I just felt that color was close to what I wanted, but it was a, just a little bit muddy looking. Now I'm going to tie that in again uh, with some of these scribbles. So there's a look at the finished piece. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.